Interesting things happen at the thrift store. Oh yes, oh yes they do. Hi, I'm Amy, the Rainy Day Shopper, and if you are someone who is returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are someone new, thank you for joining us. We are going to have a little bit of a thrift haul today, so grab some snacks and let's dig into these bags and see what I found. Right now I'm feeling a little bit like a combination of Swiss Miss and I'm a little teapot short and stout. Uh, at least I got the stout part going down. I'm not so short because I'm like five, six and a half-ish. You know what I'm saying. And I'm trying to look like I haven't been filming all of my recent videos on the exact same day. So this is just like the progression of filming four videos in one day. And I don't, this is, anyway, we're just going with it because it's what's happening right now. I don't mind this side so much, but this side insists on sticking out. It's a little bit like a handle. In any case, I have a haul from Goodwill. I recently went, I had some accidental thrifting in a different Goodwill and most stores you can kind of take things back in different places like Value Village you can or Savers you can go to a different branch and maybe not in Savers but I know in Value Village you can buy stuff at one place and take it back to another because I always like to go if I have to take stuff back I like to go to a different store and see if they have something new but not so much a Goodwill so I, I went to take some stuff back from some really cool things I got last week, which I haven't showed you because I'm filming this first because the bags were here and I want to process them and wash them, etc., and so on and so forth. Yeah. So anyway, this is just a bunch of clothes I got. I don't think I got ended up with any hard goods in this haul. There may be a mug or something wrapped in something hopefully soft because I don't think I remembered that I got any hard goods. In any case, uh, here we go. And the thing that was so mysterious is about a month ago, I went to this Goodwill if you saw like my day in the life, I had to go pick something up in a different city and I needed to kill some time because the person wasn't ready when she said she would be. So I went to the Goodwill and then I had to take something back. And so I found this skirt that I thought, I'm mean, you know, I kind of, it's kind of a funky 90s print. I'm just gonna buy it. I think it'll fit me, definitely for me to wear. Well, I went back, like this is a month and a half later. I don't remember exactly. I'll link that video. And I found the shirt that matches the skirt, the exact same fabric. Um, like, look at this. Isn't that fab? It's so cute. Um, it's long sleeve, which I'm not super fond of, but isn't that just a fun print? And this, just like the skirt, has no tags in it. And I don't think it's homemade. It does have shoulder pads, just in case I need to feel a little bit like, oh, I'm gonna get ya. Um, but this is just so fun. I just love the print. It's super vibrant. And I think the two of them together are either gonna be an awesome look, or I'm gonna wear this with jeans because it's a little too much for me. Haven't decided. Don't know, gonna put that over there because I haven't washed anything yet. All right, let's see what else. I'm gonna pull the bag up here because that's just easier. Oh, this was super fun. I haven't taken the tags off anything yet because in case I decide to take them back, I totally can. Um, this is Melissa Page, which I don't know anything about the brand. I bought it for style because it is this super cute open front fringed jacket, very boho, very like, Hello, do, 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 do. I cannot, I cannot pass up fringe. I'm sorry, had to buy it. Um, it's probably all polyester as far as I know. It's like an ultra suede kind of fabric. So yeah, machine wash, yeah, and lingerie bag. I should get a lingerie bag. <laughs> it thinks I have a lingerie bag. I don't, I need one though. Uh, I just wash the lingerie with everything else. Actually, I do them separately. Uh, okay had to get this oh my gosh oh you'll see why okay look at this cuteness it is i think this is crochet or is it knit but it is this awesome poncho again with the fringe you see this but ponchos are going to be in again in fall now i don't know if this poncho is going to be in in the fall but come on now that vintage so cute handmade style are you serious? I could not pass this up. So cute, plus I just love those little two flowers. Those little two flowers? Those two little flowers, there we go. So cute, all right. I don't wanna throw that one, I will put it down there. Next bag, I think I have like four little bags, five little bags, it should be pretty quick. I'm gonna go fast because I don't want to. 
so there i have to get out to the garden actually and do all the watering and the weeding and the harvesting so many green beans to pick actually dragon tongue bush beans green beans purple beans borlotti beans and some beans my aunt Susie gave me that are going insane and are really tasty um this is just a knit uh, actually a heavy knit it's a gold kind of lame it has I don't know if you can see that threading through it. Now, did this have a tag on it? This was actually in the Halloween section, which the Halloween section is such a great section to, to go to right now. They always have tons of vintage stuff in there, and it's usually not super expensive because they think it's costume worthy, and I'm like, no, that's kind of amazing worthy. Uh, no tags in this one, which is what I remembered. And I almost didn't get this one. I put it back, but at the end, like I had a $100 bill on me, but... I had like 97 cents over a hundred and I had no other like change whatsoever and they wouldn't take a debit card for just 97 cents. So I added it back on. Um, but it's just really cute and very much great for fall. It has some fuzzies on it that aren't marks. They're just little fuzzies cause they need help. I have to figure out care for it though. So that'll be a project. All right. What else have we got? Oh, this is just a, um, safari adventures but it's just a really cute chambray shirt and chambray shirts are so adorable um and this one has just a cute little scoop neck so it doesn't have a collar which i love because i hate collars i am just not a collar person um and it has like a nice little cutout at the front too so it's like a nice kind of keyhole detail it's really cute and it's a medium no wait it's a plus size hold on oh it's a 1x i could wear it anyway it's a plus size. Maybe that's why I got it too, because it's chambray and super cute and it's a plus size. Can I go wrong? At least I hope not. Oh, this sweatshirt might be for me. Mostly because it's so pretty, but I might sell it. It's, uh, just look at how pretty that is. Like I said, I haven't taken tags off, but it's just a hoodie. It's a lightweight hoodie. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's gonna be hard to sell this one, but I'm probably gonna sell it because I just kept another sweatshirt. It's a 2X Serengeti fashions which uh, I don't know anything I just love the sweatshirt so it's really dangerous when I go shopping because I'm like hey if it doesn't sell I get to keep it if it's my size so dangerous so dangerous all right uh let's see what have we got here okay new bag there were some seriously fun sequined items and sweaters this fun sequined item I don't know if I can't remember if I've seen this before but this is look at that so 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 pretty just blue on the back and it is it's a target like neiman marcus tracy reese which i didn't sometimes i don't know this notice the stupid targets because i just don't think about them so i'll have to look that up and see how comps are but it's so pretty and it's sequined i want to keep it but if the comps are bad i'll take it back because me eh. Eh, I was in a hurry. I know, always a terrible excuse. I do usually, I have been really good about checking comps before I buy for the most part lately. Mostly because I don't have time to take things back right now. This is made in Hong Kong something. I think this might be 51, it says. But it is, I think it's Angora. Hold on, let me find. It's probably up here because it's old school. Oh yeah, lamb's wool, angora, rayon, poly. But mostly lamb's wool and angora to size small. But what it has are these amazing star sequins with beads. And it's just a cardigan. But it has kind of like a oh, drummer boy vibe. But look at that! Fabulous! Um, and then it's got some like shot metallic um, banding down at the bottom in two spots oh my gosh it's gorgeous i'm sorry if you don't think this is gorgeous i'm afraid we can't be friends i mean we can still be friends but i might not invite you out to drinks that's all i'm saying this lipstick color is killing me it's mostly because i've put on four different colors of lipstick to change for each video and this is just a little bit much that's all i'm saying it's not all I'm saying because I'm totally talking a lot, but that's not news for any of us who have watched a video here before. Let's see. This is a vintage plus size. 
It's a 3X. It is made in the USA and it is the brand Van Mozart. But it's just this really cute red empire waist, little tiny flutter cap sleeve. It's just kind of fun. It's vintage. And I know how much I love vintage as, oh, sorry, I'm going to move my sweater. Hold on. I'm going to put it over here. Um, I just love vintage and it's so hard to find. And that's like, 80, I think Van Mozart is 80s vintage, not 90s vintage. Um, but it's just fun and someone could have a great time with it and make it into a costume or just wear it because it's super cute and it'd be really cute under a little jacket for work or with some jeans, some high-waisted mom jeans. This is, let's see, a, oh, <laughs> this is cheesy. So it's a brand quiz size 20 woman. It's made in Hong Kong, so it's vintage as well. And it's just embroidered denim shirt, but it's the little bear and he's watering the garden. All right, I know. Probably no one's gonna buy this, so I'm gonna get stuck wearing it. That's okay, I make garden videos. I can just wear it when I make those, right? Oh my goodness. Anyway, it's really cute. It's a denim, just a denim chambray shirt. Super cute. All right, let's see, what do we got? Ooh, this bag. Okay. You're gonna laugh at me for this one, I think. It's vintage. It is made in the USA. It is 100% acrylic. You know that ever so sexy material. Uh, let's see, what is this? Serville, Serville, Serville. Um, but wait for it. It's a sweatshirt. Um, wait for it. <laughs> um, it has owls on it with bedazzled eyes. Oh my gosh. I can't even. You probably can't even. You're like, okay, we're going to stop watching now because that's just cheesy. But I must show you the eyes up close. You will be hypnotized by them. Oh my gosh. Isn't it fabulous? Ugh. Talk about amazing. And it's in super good condition. Like there's no pilling. It's like, looks like it's almost never worn which you might say that's probably a good thing. No, it's not because it's nifty 90s. This actually may be 80s. I have to, I don't know, 80s, 90s. I was young and impressionable and didn't pay much attention to anything other than the fishnets and uh, sheer stuff. I was wearing dancing in the 90s, frankly. And when I was in high school, I wore a lot of skirts. I still wear a lot of skirts. Um, this was in the Halloween section. Oh my gosh. And I had to buy it because it's a puppy. It's just a felt circle skirt. Um, it doesn't feel like, and it's beaded, so it's got these bugle beads all along as the leash. Let me see if I can get to this puppy. But the puppy is floofy, so, and has a little bow. And let's see, was there a tag in this? The tag, it's very tiny in the waist, but it's a full circle. Um, I was trying to see if this was handmade because it doesn't, yeah, it's very much, it looks very handmade to me. It doesn't have the same feel. Like this is much higher quality felt that you usually find in contemporary, like stuff you buy at those Halloween stores. But let me just make sure I'm not totally fooling myself. So I think this is, someone made this, is what it looks like. Um, it feels older. It feels, or I can't say though, because it has no tags. So it doesn't feel as if it's super current. This kind of felted, um, sparkle is, is around still. So that's not like, it's not like it couldn't be made now. It just has a, it just has that feel, but I'll just say like a vintage style. It's, um, but it's definitely a costume piece that was made to be a costume piece. It's not actually from like the fifties. At least I don't think so but it's super cute. Anyway, bought that because Halloween's coming up and frankly, if it would fit, I would wear it now. Oh, this, uh, mm. So let's grab the next bag. There are two more little bags, but not so many things in them because I got big things in the bags and they're little bags. Um, and uh, I forgot to take my Ikea bag with me. Normally I keep one in the truck 
which is why I have the stupid bags, which is terrible. I know. Don't yell at me. Because I'll cry. I won't really cry. I'll just be like, yeah, totally. I'll yell at myself later. Um, this is a vintage leather jacket made in the USA. Uh, Positano Pele. Um, and when I say leather, I mean leather and sequins. Because, oh yeah, and don't forget the shoulder pads. Um, it is suede and then goes down to leather leather. It is, I think, an open front jacket. Yeah, it's just an open front jacket. Oh, it's hard to show. I like sta I like showing clothes standing up, but it's hard when I'm taking them out of the bags. I definitely need a table. Oh, hi, look, we're glowing again. Don't mind us. Ooh. Anyway, sequins glowing, all the kind of fun. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm terrible. I know. I should stop. I'm probably not going to, though. So don't hold your breath because you might pass out. All right. Uh, yes. So it has a few little, like, wispy, stringy things, but otherwise in such good condition, and it's just fabulous. Now, again, someone's going to see this and maybe think of it as a costume piece if it were my size. It is a small, but it's oversized, like, 80s small. Um, so amazing, this jacket. Oh, I wish I could hold the proper... This, you can't... Anyway, you get the idea. There we go put that there okay this sweater is so cute there are sheep involved hold on all right this oh my gosh is the Woolrich woman dun 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 and it is just a cute little sleeveless sweater is that not the cutest thing? Oh my gosh, hold on. I have a hair or a fuzzy or something gross in my mouth. Oof, that's so awkward. I like hair on the head, but not when it is detached from the body. Is that a weird thing? I don't know. So it's Woolrich. It doesn't have any other tags that I've seen. Now I'm looking real quick. Um, so it feels like wool. It doesn't have its care tags. I was hoping it had something or a size tag. It looks like a small medium, but isn't that cute? so cute and I am guessing by the tag because I've seen other Woolrich stuff that it may be vintage I mean okay it's vintage um but I don't know exactly because it doesn't have the tags in it which is so sad all right what is this oh I might take this one back despite the fact that it has disco ball button buttons and a little ruffle and it's 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 really cute beige and I don't like beige because again me and the beige don't go well um I don't know it's philosophy by Republic it is a silk blend viscose silk nylon the trim is 100% polyester but it is just so cute this cute little cardigan with the ruffle and the disco ball buttons and I have to look up the comps again on this one. I can't remember what I looked up and decided on it. Anyway, it's really cute. Again, neutrals are... Some people just like beige. Not me. Sorry. Oops, I dropped that. Anyway, let's see. Ooh, one more. Hold on. Again, ponchos are super, super, super cute and in, and I can wear them. Uh, not the little red one. The little red one has a tiny little neck. It may be a kid's. Um, but this is just a little asymmetrical kind of cardi throw thing. Which I'm good at. Not, it's going to mess up my, like, Heidi kind of look here. Um, I found tags. Where are the tags? Oh, it's a, it's a loft outlet. It still has a little thing on it. It is just acrylic, but it's just super soft and super cute, and I had to get it. I know Loft isn't like the best brand to purchase, but I thought for style purposes, the cuteness of this, hello, peekaboo again, um, just the cuteness, right? So I got that. Oh, I need to go a little this way. Then you could see I have art on the floor over there. Don't judge me. Um, 
Oh, this was fun. It's just a uh, vintage made in the USA. Nope, made in Hong Kong. I lied. Huh, Remy and Cotton. But it's a... People like college stuff, so I thought I'd give this a try because it's a Florida State Seminoles vintage, like, college sweater. It does have... Ooh, my nose is itching the hair. Okay, sorry. That's just awkward. Um, so it is does have some pilling on it it does have some just a few little marks but it's vintage I mean this is not new at all and it's really cute so I got it so hopefully someone who like is a Seminole goes to Florida State would want this um, or someone who's a traditional Seminole and would like to wear it as a form of protest whichever I'm good with it so many reasons to protest okay this mm hmm Look at the cuteness of this skirt. This is on super, super thin cotton. Um, definitely like old school, like thin. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see my hand there. Um, but these are all just applique on. Oh my gosh, look at that cuteness. So very much in like art to wear, arts and craftsy kind of style. Stitched, so adorable. The skirt I believe is handmade as well as all the applique. Let me just turn it inside out to double check and make sure there is no tag that I somehow missed that this is like, oh yeah, it's anthropology. It's not anthropology. Um, no, no, someone has made this and actually it's kind of fun inside out too. Could wear it two ways and have two skirts. There you go. I probably wouldn't, I like the other side better, but I couldn't pass it up. It was so, again, in the Halloween section, all the fun stuff's in Halloween. Oh, two more things. And I don't know if that's exciting, actually, because the last one's for mom, so I should take it down to her. But this was just a Star Wars extra large cropped, kind of, not super cropped sweatshirt. But I don't know if you can see that the, like, the letters are kind of, like, tie-dye psychedelic. A little reflective. But they're also kind of subtle from a distance. So I just thought this was really cool. And I know there are a lot of Star Wars fans out there and um it was a really it was only two dollars and fifty cents. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, or tell people I don't care, you know, because that's the whole point of this is to resell. And then this last shirt, kind of a bummer to end on because it's not really anything exciting, but it's a great color and I thought mama would like it. So it's just this casual studio, kind of watermelon colored top, and mommy really likes these. Um kind of floaty tunicky tops right now given all the state of her etc and so on and so forth all right so there you go some fun things i think i hope you thought they were fun let me know in the comments below what your favorite piece was or something that you have recently sourced that is super fun oh my gosh i have oh my gosh so from the time that i went to the goodwill before this one that i had to go back and take this back but i was there so many amazing things, including this wool jacket, oh, vintage, made in Mexico, like, but, like, made, fabricated in Mexico for, I don't know if it's for, ex, like, for the tourist market or for Mexico, but it's so cool. And then this, anyway, I'll probably have to do a haul for at least part of that, but I got too many things. I think it would take two hours to do a full haul, so I may just pull out some highlights from that stuff eventually and show you. Thank you so much for joining me for this haul. I tried to make it super quick just to show you what I picked up. I hope that you are finding amazing things, whether you are a reseller or a buyer who is supporting resellers and small businesses and making the world a better place by keeping things out of the landfill and in the hands of people who can use them and who love them. Hopefully that's you and you are awesome. I will see you next time. Oh, yeah, my Poshmark closet. If you want anything, you can just, because it's going to take me more than a minute to get stuff listed. So if you haven't seen something listed or sold, you might want to try giving me an email. My email's in the description below. Also, a link to my Poshmark closet. You can also find me on Instagram at Rainy Day Shopper if you just want to kind of follow my reselling journey. This is, what, my fourth month? Fifth month? May, June, July, August. Fourth month? No, April, May, June, July. Okay, yeah, it's my fourth month because I started in the middle of April. So it's my fourth month as a reseller and it's 
really fun and it's kind of crazy and yeah I'm just trying to figure this whole thing out and build a business as I go so it's been super nice to have a bunch of people out there supporting me already and if you're one of the people who kind of want to join in and be a part of this journey and share some of your journey as well I'm hearing such great stories down in the comments so leave a story let me know what your story is and if you have a YouTube channel leave a link below as well as well as to your Poshmark closet Hope everything is going well with all of y'all and I will see you next time. Bye.